Every day, more people realize that data privacy is a concern, that everything from your smartphone to your television to your car to your washing machine is looking to suck up your personal data. There's a lot of talk about data privacy legislation and different type of legislative solutions that would either penalize companies for doing this or require that they make more prominent disclosures when they collect this type of data on you and how they're going to use it. And there are other laws that people propose that go in a more extreme direction of you're simply not allowed to collect this personal data to begin with. In my opinion, all all of these are a, a red herring that do not strike at the root cause of the problem. We're talking about taking the monster and slapping it on the wrist rather than cutting off the monster's head. The monster is personalized advertising. With personalized advertisements, we collect as much information on you as possible. What you eat who you go out with, who you vote for, where you shit, and when you shit, so that we can figure out whether we should be advertising a bidet that attaches to your toilet or a portable bidet for you based on whether you take a shit when you're traveling or in the morning after your morning shower. The pr and the thing is, if there were no advertisements of this nature anymore, then the value of the data on where and when I take a shit would go back to what it should be, which is zero dollars. When you install an ad blocker onto your computer, you're not simply installing something that makes web pages load faster, and you're not simply just having a, you're a less annoying web browsing experience. When you install an ad blocker on not just your computer, your laptop, or your phone, but in all of your devices, you're taking the value of invading people's privacy and you're reducing it to zero. We can pass as many laws in the world, and let's be real, in the United States, we don't have consumer protection anymore, so that's not gonna happen. You can pass as many laws as possible. You can do as many public awareness campaigns as possible. You can release as many operating systems and micro G and graphene OS that you want, but we're not striking at the fundamental issue here when it comes to data collection, which is that a reason it has a value is because of the advertising industry and personalized advertisements. They want to know when you shit and where you shit so they know what type of bidet they should be advertising to you. They want to know who you're gonna vote for so they know whether or not to advertise to you a hate has no home here or a let's go Brandon shirt. So much of the spying that happens right now is to figure out what to sell you. And if advertisements simply ceased to show up and exist, we would live in a world where there is no incentive structure for my washing machine to collect my personal data. This is the type of world that I wanna live in, but it starts with you. It starts with not only not viewing the ads or being influenced by them, but by never even seeing them. Even if you're not influenced by the advertisement, if somebody can say that this advertisement was viewed or had 3 million impressions, that still creates some sort of value to the company that may not have the best analytics in place to figure out why people purchase their products. However, if that person came back to the company and said, we had zero impressions on this advertisement, that would strike at the heart of the industry. We would no longer be slapping the data collection monster on the wrist. We would be cutting off the head of the privacy invading monster. And the best way to do this is to install ad blockers as far as you can. Install an ad blocker on your computer, like you block origin in your web browser. And when you have your television on your home network, have that home network have PF Blocker NG on the router like I showed you so that your television doesn't have the ability to connect to any of these things if you even do put it on the internet. When I view an Android application on my phone and I'm attached via VPN to my PF Blocker NG on my router, none of the advertisements on an application, even if I did install a closed source application with ads, will show up because they are all blocked every which way. If every single person stopped not only being influenced by advertisements, but also watching these advertisements, one of the primary horsemen of the data privacy apocalypse, personalized advertisements, would go away. And as a result of them going away, the incentive structure to collect your personal data would start to go away as well. When it comes to getting people into ad blockers, you cannot lecture them. You cannot tell them that this is important because the advertising industry hurts people and it takes away their privacy and it hurts their rights because at the end of the day, people don't care about that. They tend to care about themselves. When I talked about right to repair on my channel, I didn't tell people you should do this because it's good for the environment and if you buy a new phone versus fix your old one, you're contributing to e-waste. And why didn't you fix your old one instead of buying? Why'd you buy a new one? Don't you know that you're not helping the circular economy? Because that doesn't work. Lecturing people doesn't work. What works is giving them a little kick of dopamine by making them share in your fun and excitement. I would do repair live streams where I would try to make it fun and show you that there's actual excitement and a little game that we're playing as we're going through this. I turn it into a puzzle and I would try to be entertaining in some way, shape or form, like a gesture for the camera while I was doing it so that you would feel excited when you would watch these repairs and you'd feel like you were invested in them. I would show you how to do everything from start to finish and explain all of it to you in easy to understand language at a time when nobody was doing that so that you would be able to fix those electronics and save 300 or 600 or $900 yourself and get that little excited kick of dopamine when you feel like you've had a success at making something work again. Or I'd show you how to do this for your own business so that when you go from making 50,000 a year to 90,000 a year, you could go, ah, 
That's pretty cool. I tried to get people excited in it by showing them my joy. When you start talking to people about these data privacy and data collection issues, don't talk to them and lecture them about why data privacy matters and how it's being taken away and your human rights for privacy and how you're not doing the right thing to bring us into a better world because that doesn't work. What you do is when they see an annoying ad or their website's taking a little long to load, oh, oh, that's not happening on mine, that's weird, can I see? Oh, it looks like you don't, oh yeah, you don't have that plugin installed, no wonder. And then you go back to what you're doing. They go, what do you mean what, you don't have that plugin installed? Oh yeah, yeah, you block. I don't know if, you, if you're interested in it, let me know. When they're using an application and the application is filled with ads and you have the same application and you can't see the ads. You just see these little black boxes where the advertisements used to be. Let them know. Let them share in your joy. Let them come to you and decide to ask you how it was you accomplished and achieved that. And when you do, they'll be excited. They'll be invested, not because you lecture them, but because you showed them how to do something cool. If you really want to see all of this stuff go away, if you want to truly have privacy again, if you do not want to have to wear a condom every time you turn on a computer or go on the internet and do immense research to figure out which Android phones are going to support the operating system that allows me to rip out little bits and pieces of spyware from it, we need to strike not at the data collection itself, but we need to strike at the incentive structure for the data collection. Make that data worthless the way it should be. Make the time and place that Lewis takes a shit worth zero dollars again. That's a campaign slogan right there. I actually do have a bidet for my house and a portable bidet, so, you know. When I wrote this guide, which now features a hanging table of contents, my bad about that. Yeah, Vector versus Vector 2022. Vector versus Vector 2022. Now that it has a working table of contents, setting up PF blocker NG for ad blocking in PF Sense, this is one of many ways that you can block all advertisements. And when I took off two months of my life to write this, it was in the hopes that the even one freaking reader managed to block ads from every aspect of their life. I did, I'm happy. It worked, I did my job. There are many ways to block all ads. This one is mine. Find yours and share it with people. Don't lecture them about it share it with them and show them what's possible. If you find that there are people who have ad supported businesses and you're not viewing their ads anymore, I'm not talking about myself. I got YouTube, but I have, I have a job, I have a business. I have a, like, if I don't make money from YouTube, I'm good. But if you find that there are people out there that make content that really depend on this, throw them a few bucks. I guarantee you, they're gonna be better off if you threw them a few freaking dollars than if you clicked on every single ad in their content or their application for a year. Help be a part of ushering in business models that do not depend on mining all of your data every single second of the day. The best time to do this was 20 to 27 years ago. The second best time to do it is now. As anybody who's been a systems administrator for more than six months to a year knows, systems will always have the capability to get hacked. At some point in time, this server that has all of this data on you that's been collecting all this crap will get breached. The same way that your social's probably out there, your credit information's out there, God knows how many credit agencies have had breaches by now. At some point, personal data on every aspect of your life is gonna be stored in a server that has a breach, and then it's gonna be available to everybody. The best way to avoid all of this crap happening is to cut at the fundamental incentive structure for advertisements existing. And if you feel bad about doing this because you feel like you are going to be cutting into somebody's income who relies on this money from their advertisements for their content or their web app development, pay them, give them a few bucks. I'm good, I don't need your money here. I have a job and I have a business outside of YouTube. Yelling into a camera is a cathartic release for me. I do my 15 minutes a day and then I go about my day and I'm a happy dude. I like yelling into a camera, I just find it fun. But there are people out there that actually yell into a camera as a form, uh, as a job. People that show you how to work on your house or people that entertain you or people that inform you and that do this for a living to be of value to you, throw them a few dollars. I guarantee you, you throw somebody on YouTube a few bucks, you give the app person that has a free app that's filled with ads a few bucks after you have blocked their ads, and they will be better off financially from you doing that than they would be if you clicked every single advertisement in their video or application every day for a full year. I've released the ad rates from my channel before, and if you take a look at them, you could literally give me a quarter, and I am better off than I would be if you had watched every one of my advertisements for the year. So if you find people on this platform that are, are not lucky and privileged like me to have a business and a job, in other ways of making money outside of YouTube, and you find those people valuable, throw them a few bucks. Throw them a quarter. You'll be doing more for them than you would if you clicked on every single advertisement. Help us make the world a better place for data privacy by striking at the root of it and do it in a way that is sustainable, that is not going to create this sort of counter culture clash of people that love viewing ads and clicking on them and defending them simply to get back at the people that were lecturing them about why they should care about this. Don't punch down.
Don't talk down to them. Don't condescend them. And don't try to make it sound like you're a better person who cares more about the world because you do this. Bring them into your world. Show them the fun of it. Get them excited. The first time they load a website that used to be filled with shit and it's like, it's all gone. The first time that they just don't see that 20 second nonsense before they get to the content that they are interested in viewing, they'll be sold. There are many ways to advertise outside of this abusive data mining bullshit. Tons of ways to do it. We got to go back to that. Businesses will survive. People will learn that our products and services exist. Somehow a guy that wore a blue polo shirt to the Apple store, <laughs> it would talk to the people that look like pissed off customers waiting for the genius bar that put up pull tab signs and packs and uh, sat in a park, managed to figure out how to build a business and get people to understand that he ex his services existed without having to mine everybody's personal data. I used to go to the Apple store <laughs> dressed in a blue polo shirt on 9th Avenue and 14th Street back 15, 16 years ago and just walk up to random people that look like they were pissed off at the Genius Bar and just have a conversation with them. By the way, oh yeah, this is going to be $75. They're going to say it's $700. Here's the actual problem. I don't work here, by the way. Here's my card. That took a lot of getting over shyness. Oh my. Put up pull tab signs in packs and little flyers in front of Gotham Bank and sat in the park in Herald Square. There are tons of ways to get the word out there about what it is you're producing without having to rely on systems that mine and collect people's personal data, oftentimes without their consent, to shove advertisements in their face. Good products were able to get the word out to consumers long before we destroyed the concept of individual privacy. And I have faith that we'll be able to do that continuously into the future. For now, until this industry changes, until we live in a world where my bank can just randomly sell my transaction information and show it to other people to have targeted ads at me without even fucking informing me, nah, man, we got to cut off the head of this monster. Because if we don't, privacy as we know it will be dead. Are you with me? All right, let's get to ad blocking.